Lord Mayor Lisa Scafidi has declared she'll never give up, even though she's copped an 18-month ban over the travel perks saga. It's one of the harshest penalties handed to an Australian councillor, but her legal team is already planning to fight it. For a saga that spanned two years, it took the State Administrative Tribunal less than a minute to hand down its penalty, banning Lisa Scafidi from office for 18 months, effective from midnight Thursday. I have instructions to apply for a stay of the decision uh, and that application will be filed today or tomorrow and hopefully heard by the Court of Appeal uh, before Thursday. Her legal team is urgently seeking for the punishment to be put on hold until her appeal against the SAT's findings is heard, and that may not happen until next year. The sanction, one of the most severe in local government history, handed down over Ms Scafidi's failure to declare gifts and travel 45 times. This is a unique situation, so uh, it's one without precedent, really. The defiant Lord Mayor took to Twitter to declare the penalty unduly severe, saying she'd continue to fight for a fair outcome and will not give in to those who wrongly seek to make this a political issue. But if the disqualification sticks, she won't be allowed to return to office until the ban is over, and only if she's re-elected. A panel of three judges ruled the breaches were so serious they could be considered criminal and that Ms Scafidi undermined one of the fundamental aspects aspects of the LG Act with gross carelessness. The tribunal not satisfied that it can have any confidence that the Lord Mayor would comply with her obligations in the future. I've known her for a long time. I've seen her, see her at functions and events, but the whole thing's just a hopeless joke. It is time for the City of Perth to move on. It is time for a new Lord Mayor to be elected. But for now, it's seemingly business as usual at Council. CEO Martin Milam sending this message to councillors reminding them that Lisa Scafidi remains in office and any media questions should be referred to him. Have you declared everything? Liam, I am not going to be discussing this with you right now, with respect. Just a simple answer, please. Have you declared everything? The Lord Mayor has always maintained she either didn't know she was supposed to declare flights and accommodation or wasn't aware they were being paid for by third parties. I couldn't disclose any more if I tried. No one's trying to resolve this quicker than I am. I don't believe there has been a loss of public confidence. The next mayoral ballot isn't due until late 2019, but the local government minister is hoping to hold a by-election as early as next month. Until then, Deputy Mayor James Limnios would step up. I think we need to move on. We need to focus on the ratepayers. And already, former MP Michael Sutherland is vowing to throw his hat in the ring, as revealed on Nine Live Perth. The whole thing's carried on for far too long. The government uh, uh, should look at ways of uh, uh, shortening these processes. And Renee Henry is at Council House for us tonight. Renee, the next few days are crucial. Yes, Ms Scafidi is essentially in a race against time. She only has the next three days to fight for the disqualification to be put on hold because as of midnight Thursday, it will come into force. She says if that application is not successful, she'll also drop her other appeal against the findings because the Supreme Court wouldn't have the power to reinstate her once she's disqualified. That move would finally bring an end to this long-running saga. Tim. Renee, thank you.